Hey there everybody, this is Zagard. I was the editor for this video, and I just wanted to let you know that there were some audio recording issues. So if there's a moment where the sound cuts out for about a second, it was a problem with the mic not picking us up. So if you see words and quotes where the audio cuts out, that was me trying to fill you in as best as possible. Well, that's all I have to say, so I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, uh, I'm the mythology guy. My friends, right here, and Hello. we just saw Netflix's Blood of Zeus. Yeah, this is it was a fun experience series, which I guess is going to get a season two. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we we'll get into that later. I was not expecting that, but it, actually, it's kind of hard to tell. So, um, yeah, I'm a little late to this. I was. Uh, it, it took a while for us all to get together and get this done. I didn't want to watch it alone. I'm so glad I didn't. Don't watch this alone. I'm it's serious. Don't watch difficult. it alone. Yeah, um, you should watch it with one other person. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna avoid spoilers, and then at some point we're gonna cut off and then go into spoilers. I'll give you a warning before we do that. Yeah, I'll put one up on the screen. All if right. I can. So uh, just a little synopsis. The movie is based on Greek mythology. It's um. We follow a character named Heron who is important somehow. If somehow you didn't see the trailer, oh uh, yeah. surprise! Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I'll give you but fucking. He's not a bastard. I'll give you two guesses what he is because apparently he's no bastard. Even though he, uh, yeah, I, 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 that I, line is still. It's infuriating, especially still, for someone who they only say knows a lot episode, about Zeus. Like, yeah, we um, understand <laughs> what the reason with that. Yeah, so it. we're following Heron. Um, where uh, there's some conflict going up with the gods on Mount Olympus and the pos and the possible threat of the return of the giants, which I'm sure a lot of you don't know about. After the Titan War, there was a giant war between the Olympians and the giants. Okay, but who, who do they fight against? Um, you said it was a giant war, like it's a big war. Okay, god damn it, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. So, but, but before we get into what we thought of it, like let's just say... <laughs> Um, you, you guys know me, I'm the mythology guy. I'm very rooted in mythology. Shane also likes mythology. He's more casual about yeah, it, I, So I yeah. know things, like, um, mostly what he tells me, but I do know, um, stuff about Greek mythology, because I was interested in middle school, but I never really studied it. Like, Andrew yeah, has read like, lots of like, books. Like, I've studied, like, eight different mythologies, mostly Greek. Um, and then and, uh, Claire, Claire out, out of the three of us, probably knows the least mythology. I know about um, um, Eurydice... Eurydice. Sorry, you're, I'm so dumb. I knew that was it was Eurydice. Eurydice. Yeah, I, I've always been calling her Eurydice. So don't, don't, <laughs> well, and I'm nice. the freaking yeah. mythology guy. So yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I knew about like that, and um, you know, Hades and Persephone, and that whole the story where he just looks around. So she, I, I think we've got three pretty yeah. good things. perspectives yeah, here, um, like very rooted, casually rooted, a little rooted. Tiny. Thing. She's like, what she's what you would learn from any pop culture thing. Like if you watch the Hercules movie yeah. as a kid, yeah. or watch the Thor movies, she knows. Yeah, I, I'd stuff. say Claire, in regards to mythology, is your everyday average. Yeah, and I only know about Orpheus, Orpheus and Eurydice because of the Hades. She, she is very into theater, so. though. So, like, yeah, that's she, the she only reason stuff. I know about that. So yeah. that's how um, normie I am. So yeah, so you're gonna get three different perspectives. Um, and uh, so let's uh, well, let's start off. We well, all kind I, of. I, I, I want to start with like what you two thought of the film. A film. <laughs> I keep calling it a film. Oh, okay, let me tell you what you like thought film. of the series. So let me just tell you guys, there was a series in Japan that was made recently. That this has nothing to do with it, but it will explain why we keep saying this. That was originally supposed to be a a, a twelve episode series, but then they decided to make it a movie, and then they split that movie up into twelve episodes again. And it really feels like that. And that's how this show feels. <laughs> this show literally feels like they were like, we're gonna make a show. No, let's make a movie. Let's make the movie into decide. separate episodes of yeah. a show. Honestly, yeah. Because literally, we would watch an episode. And then the next one would start, and we wouldn't realize until all of a sudden the opening credit. Or is that Netflix? A, I, I had no idea this was going to be a show when I saw the trailer. I thought it was a movie. Yeah, yeah. and then I opened yeah. it on Netflix. I'm like, season? What? Yeah. <laughs> like, it really feels like a movie that got split into several episodes. I prom. It really does. And the feel of it kind of feels like a movie. cinematic. Like it has like the cinematic yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of feel, but also. The frame rate is very low, like so it's uh, so, Yeah, that's a serious problem. The animation does not flow yeah. as yeah. well as it needs to. And, if only. And, and, because, and the main thing is, like, I've seen shows where the animation is choppy and mm -hmm. kind of low budget, but that's usually an animated comedy. 
Like yeah. F is for family or Bojack yeah. Horseman. Like those don't need to have fluid. Yeah, it's not supposed to be like a this punch. story is trying really hard to, to be, be serious, epic. Too. It's trying to be epic and powerful and grand and serious. Yeah. And you can't do that when characters look like they're floating across the floor yeah, so and a, a, an action scene is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, they, we are fighting. It doesn't now. work. Yeah, there are some times uh, uh, where you really notice like the characters instead of just like moving like, "Hi, how's it going?" It's like. Hi, how's it going? Sometimes two characters mm -hmm. will come talk and everyone around them is still yeah, like, like they're frozen. I could be time. talking and Andrew and uh, Claire would just be <laughs> Yeah, cuz that's what humans do. Yeah. And yeah, then they, they turn their head at one point and, and that's it. Sometimes there's a alive. there's a Don't sweeping worry. shot over a town and everyone is frozen solid and it's like, you know, I it's feel like, like I'm just looking at a poster. Yeah, or <laughs> like um fan art or a hey, look, this is going to be a scene in our next season kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. kind of. It um, was like they didn't have a great... They had enough of a budget for it to look pretty, but not enough for it to be an, animated it, well. it, it feels pretty it's low okay. budget, yeah. L like like um, I've said before, I'll, I'll be really shocked if it turns out this had a really huge budget. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't I don't think... Like, for if they had a low budget, which I, we, I can, I'm, yeah, we can put up on the screen right now if we have the information. I don't know if we do. We're going to put up the budget right here all right you do that. yeah we'll put the budget right there <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not he, he says we that. like i'm gonna do yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll animate yeah, you, I'll you brought it. this horse out of the barn you ride it it wouldn't be hard i literally just type. But anyways back to the show show like, movie netflix thing it's a show. um it really feels like they tried they just couldn't get right to that edge it, point it feels like yeah there was a lot they wanted to do they wanted it to be really um, amazing i like the story yeah, it, it, let, let's make one thing clear because we're kind of ripping on this a lot. This is not a bad show. No. It's just. It's not bad. It's just. Um, let's it, all say it in unison together. It, okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. Fine! <laughs> it means the same thing. It's okay. It's, I, I usually say it's fine. It's fine. We all said fine a million times before we recorded this. No, I always said okay. Whatever, okay. Yeah, he it's, was always the, 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 the lone wolf, the standout, the bastard. I'm the bastard. <laughs> it's not conforming to the hive mind of us. Yeah, too. sorry, I don't conform to hive mind. And of course, though, who are we to criticize this minds. movie? Because obviously this is... <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot. Play a drinking game at home. Take a shot every time I call this a movie. Or film. <laughs> or film. Take a shot every time mm -hmm. I don't describe this, what it is, actually. As a show. Um, but, like, yeah. this show is apparently lost myth. Uh, because yeah. it opens, the story opens with, exist. over time, there have been many stories, yeah. many myths, and some of these stories have been lost, never told. This is one of those tales. <gasps> Cut to the clip of you saying that and predicting what I mean, how did say. Netflix find this story? I didn't know Netflix had an archaeology department. I know. They, you know they're a vampire they're, hunting department. They're yeah. down in Greece, like people with Netflix hats, like the world must know. And there's one guy with a little Netflix <laughs> brush. Yeah, brushing off. Sir, I have found it. The, the tale. Script. The blood of Zeus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, that clears that up. That's where they go. Absolutely. It. What is the first thing we see when after that? Is it Heron? Um, I think it's him mining, right? I think there was oh, something no, no. before it's that. It's the story mining? of the giant. Yeah, uh, oh. you're, no, 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 no. They tell the old man tells the story of the giants. Yeah, let's not glaze That's over the fact on. that this story has never been told. Therefore, and, and Andrew Wasn't obviously there? knows more than we do, but it's taken a lot of liberties with the actual Greek. Yes, you know, story. It, it, it takes it takes some liberties. Yeah, I just yeah. remembered how it opened. It opens with um, Alexia. I call her Alexa. Alexia uh, mm. chasing the two demons. Oh, that's right. It and then it, and then and, it, it, and then we it. get the title card with lightning flashing on it, where you can't see the whole title card. And I, this isn't a spoiler. This is the title card. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, like, you don't need to if, if the title card is a spoiler, I hate to break a lot of things to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this you show is leave. called Blood of Zeus. I'm sorry, I ruined it. Oh my gosh. Um, but There's yeah, the blood? thing is, the, it's it opens with a chase scene, and because it's a chase scene with chop with a uh, low frame animation, yeah, you, like, run, it, like it shows really, it really shows how unsmooth the animation can be. That's it's bad yeah. to open that way when that's the problem. Then we cut to Heron, who is the main character, and the first thing anybody says to him is "Out of my way, bastard!" And I'm just like, yeah, yeah little, little, little what happens is it shows him like mining in a mountain. 
for uh, the whole day, and then he has a huge bag of ores, and he sees three people walking in front of him who are, like, rich, and they have jewels and stuff, and he steps out of their way, and then they're like, out of the way, bastard, and they spit on the spit on the floor, and I'm like... <laughs> the, they, they said it really casually, actually. Yeah. They were like, out of my way, bastard. It's like, just... this is the everyday occurrence. Yeah, I was so like, what the hell? He's out of your way already. So he's, he's not even in their way. way. Yeah. Everyone just treats him like crap because he's about... It feels so Jon Snow at the beginning of Game of yeah. Thrones. You all the bastard. Yeah. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Yeah, and then uh, but, uh, and he plot twist. Taking... His name is Aegon Targaryen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were taking inspiration from a lot of different things. Yeah, probably so. they they t- uh, you know uh, uh, without telling you how. Sometimes this show felt very Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna let you wonder how that is. Yeah, there were three times it was. It, there was it. What? There was a time it felt like Star than, Wars. He, there were more than three times. No, 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 we not, yelled out Star. No, no, Wars. not for Star Wars. I was gonna say. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I know three, what you're talking about. There, uh, so <laughs> it, there are times it feels like Star Wars. There are times it feels like the Moses exactly. movie. Exactly. That was the main one. Yes. It, yeah, it really it, felt like that. So many times I was like, this this feels a little like they're in, like the writers just saw Prince of Egypt. Yeah, they just saw that and they were I like, think, okay, let's go do this. But Greece. Don't watch this show alone, seriously. Watch it with friends. If you're old enough, please only if you're old mm-hmm. enough. Don't come sue me later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> play a drinking game. I, I really recommend this. Play a drinking game for every time someone says bastard. Every time the movie feels like the writers just saw Prince of Egypt. Yeah, every time. And every time uh, you think in your head, that's freaking Star Wars. There was literally <laughs> a point where we were like, that, that's Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> Something that we characters. joked a little about being Star Wars got a lot more Star yeah, Wars later, and I'll mention that in spoilers. It, can't, it, can't, it really went like... There is a the, line... The, 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 there is a line word for word from Star Wars in this show. I couldn't believe it. Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that. That's, yeah. That's where it started, I think. Wars, um, like. Yeah, that, that's how. That's when we started going, this is freaking Star Wars. Yeah. Um, they just felt like they were drawing inspiration from a lot of different I mean, things. Granted, not bad things to draw yeah. inspiration from. And never no. once, we never, and to be fair, we never were like, that's a horrible thing. We were just... Very, just, it was just aback. funny, like, it and it didn't, ma- it didn't make the show any worse. It just made yeah. us go, "Huh, that's strange." But overall, like we said, it's fine. It's okay. We don't hate it. Yeah, um, there are there are a lot of gods in this movie. Almost um, in in both a positive and I I'm not I don't want to say negative way because here's the thing, like. They don't really address most of the gods. They don't address who they are. You kind of have to pause the movie and play. Like, I I, I, I know a lot about Greek gods, so I was always pointing at gods like, I think that's Aphrodite. Yeah. I think that's Dionysus. I think that's Nike. Um, yeah, oh, they, and, you want to know how many... And there go- was one god who I was so sure was Hephaestus. Yeah, but, but I, not. I, I was so sad to be proven wrong. See, he mm-hmm. looked exactly like Hephaestus, acted exactly like Hephaestus. He had a hammer just like Hephaestus. Yeah. His character was exactly no. like Hephaestus. But I, I, was, I was such a fool. I was such an absolute <laughs> idiot because the subtitles told me the true identity yeah. of this god, and I am ashamed as the mythology guy to have never heard of this god before. Oh. According to this movie, the subtitles... This man was, in fact, God Six. Oh yeah, God number six. God Six. I am a fool. You are I should embarrassment. Be, I should shut down my whole channel I for agree. this foolishness. I agree. How he doesn't could know I about not God know six. about God he Six? Know yeah, they were about like God Six. Guys. I can't you believe. Yeah, this is next. You're really... gonna tell me I don't know how the three seashells work. This is ridiculous. But does she seashell seashell? Don't don't break me, man. I'm already low in this place. You know, it's it's very difficult. Apparently, according to the subtitles, there were several other um, characters yeah. I never heard of. There was God, God three, four. God four, God, God, God five. Who, yeah. who would have known that there would be a God five along with God four? Literally, who, six. okay, whoever was doing the subtitles, I don't know why you decided to quit when it came to the gods, but you could have literally just put. Dionysus. Hey. He didn't have enough information Ares. about the show. Hey, just he like, he hey, hey, Fernando, show. do the subtitles. Wait, what are these characters called? What are you worried about what they're called for? Do your freaking job. We don't <laughs> have time for it. We've run out of money. You have five dollars. But I don't know who this you... god is. It's fine. Quick, Here's make six. an animated movie. You got five dollars. <laughs> <You> got... <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was just kind of okay. You know, I liked yeah. it. They're part... I liked them. I thought it was uh, some of the action sequences, while not animated great or unpredictable 
Yeah, so here, a little here's, bit. Cool here's the things. thing I have to say about the overall show. It starts off kind of like, okay, where is this going? And then it starts to pick up a bit, and then it has some more moments where it dips down. But the ending is like, okay, this is a fine ending. Yeah, it it, it was fine. Although, to be fair, un- unfortunately, it, I was kind of like, can it be done yet in my head? And then as soon as there was a moment where a, a thing happened, we saw a character wake up who might or might not have been dead at that point, and I... I, she hears me go. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, he was. Like, I was just like, I'm done. Yeah. I think at, at one point, like during the last episode, you were like, "Is this still going?" Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I, was, like, I literally said, "Is this still going?" Which, again, to be fair, we did binge it. Like, we watched this for four yeah. hours. Yeah, four hours yeah. Straight. In the in the show's yeah. defense, we we spent four hours Here's watching the, this. If you show. don't like the show, you can't <clears throat> binge it and remember what's going on because you will easily. Forget that it's a show. Yeah, like mm-hmm. we like we're we're really being hard on it, but there were parts we enjoyed. Yeah, like there the were design of the enjoy. giants. Yeah, um, so yeah, yeah the giants. Cool. Uh, like I said, after the Titan War, there was a war with giants. Um, the giants are in mythology are the children of Gaia and Tartarus. In this movie, they're literally just born from the blood of Cronus. And by the way, for all you mythology buffs out there. Out there, no, none of the gods bleed gold in this movie. They all just bleed mm. regular blood. I'm so disappointing. Um, the show's called Blood of Zeus. You exactly, right? Um, Spoilers, I guess. Yeah. Um, Spoilers. Yeah, we see some <laughs> god blood in this. Uh, I'm not going to say who's. It is very gory, too. For, yeah. Like it being looking animation wise, very kiddy. Also, not apparently, kiddie. gods can know. die. Yeah, that was that threw me. That off. was yeah. that was interesting. Like, yeah, like, gods oh. can die, titans can die, the giants can die, everyone can die. Nobody's immortal. Maybe that's why they don't have golden blood because in mythology that explains yeah. how they're immortal. Yeah, that might be. Honest. Yeah, all right. So you know, they they just were like, they oh crap, died. we forgot to bring our golden blood to work today. I guess we can all die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and there were some like nice touches that was like clearly um, nods to mythology, but then there's also a lot of changes. That yeah. we didn't understand why they were. Literally, there are part, parts in, in it where it's like, okay, you know the scene in mythology? Yeah, we're gonna go, we're going, and we're going this way! And you're, you're just like, whoa! Yeah, I like, so hurt my neck. Yes. Oh, yeah, the demons. Oh, yeah. But that's uh, another. Um, uh, yeah, let me, let me just uh, go over the giants here because uh, yeah. that, it leads into that. Yeah. Um, so the giants, yeah, they're born from the blood of Kronos after he was killed in the Time War because he was killed in this version. Everyone was killed. Um,. Now, in actual mythology, it's really hard to find... I've told them both this, I'm telling you guys this now. It's really hard to find descriptions of what the giants are supposed to look like. So in this movie, they really got creative, and I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, the giants look cool. really cool, They're actually. very cool. They're it's like really creepy. creative and really interestingly shaped. Yeah. They kind of look like kaijus. However, there's... In a good way. There's this cool. huge, weird... I don't want to spoil it, but some. I'm just going to say something happens with two of the giants... And it never, you know which two I'm yeah, talking about, Yeah, I know about, which two right? And it about, never yeah. comes into play uh, again. Yeah. And I'm going to get into that as spoilers because it, it's honestly he bothering kept me. kept yelling it out. Like, I kept yelling it out. I was like, where are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Andrew, let it go, man. You it's can't. like, I will not let it go. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. There were two giants that, like you said, something happens. And it, it, it's only important in the backstory of the show. And then for the rest of the show, it's like those giants just didn't exist all the time. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Um, Which Um, I guess was fine. If you've seen the first episode, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. you don't even have to see the whole first episode. Just like the first 15 minutes. Watch the first like half of the first episode. Yes, Um, true. But yeah, so now in the show, the main enemies in the show are demons. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but. I have never come across demons in Greek mythology, yeah, ever. I, the way they explain it in this is, e- yeah. if you've seen the trailer, they eat the flesh of the giants, they become, they're humans who eat the flesh of the giants, they become demons, they become really powerful. It's, you know, it's not a bad idea, but Greek mythology has hundreds or thousands of monsters in it that mm-hmm. you can choose from, and they went with something I've never heard of. Granted, they do kind of use it to inject a few mythical creatures in there, yeah. but I, I feel like there's, what, five? Five mythical creatures. Mm, centaur. Ooh. Or, uh, l- l- like. I'm trying not to ruin it. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Six. Yeah, there's like there, six. There's six mythical creatures. There might be a seventh one mythology. we don't remember, but. Um, it's, if, if there are more than six, they were so pointless <laughs> and useless in the show that they might as well not have been there. 
Let's just say that. And it's like they could have used so many. One of the cool cooler villains. ones gets like pinned down right away oh, yeah. and almost plays no part in the rest. Yeah, it, it's it's really cool in like yeah. the first two episodes, and then by episode three, it's there as like a plot and then device. And then episode and then four, there's it's another gone. race of creatures that just gets like yeah. every time one of them appears, it's just. Yeah, literally. Gone. We were like, "Oh, whoa, it's one of those." And then all of a sudden, it's like, "Oh, I guess he's done. He's I guess, done. I guess his <laughs> five minutes of fame are." Home. And then we saw another and then we one. Saw another one, and we were like, it's, "Okay, what's our, our, what's he gonna do?" Boom, he's out. And I, I looked at them. and I was like, "You know what? Maybe they're not even evil. Maybe they were just there. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're just hanging out. Maybe just they just got, got attacked because yeah, people saw them and freaked out." Yeah, literally, <laughs> one of them just goes, "Hmm," and this, and then he dies. And we were like. Well, that was fast. And the next time, he kind of looked like he was just he standing just got around. Ambushed. Yeah, he just ambushed. The next time he was standing around, <laughs> he, he turns over like, huh, and like, then he dies. Poor guy. He's like, I was just on my night shift. I feel bad for them time. now, saying it out loud. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing that plays into the plot is they, uh, I'm not going to say how, but they do the version where... If you you know about Thanatos, there's no Thanatos in this universe. They do the version of Greek myths where Hermes escorts the dead to the underworld. Which is fine. So I'm just going to gear you up for that now. Um, because there was a scene involving Hermes and souls that really confused me. Yeah, until we really, showed later. Both of us were he, like, wait, wait, he can do he that? He can do that? He's horrifying now. <laughs> yeah. But then we realized they were doing the version of yeah. mythology where Hermes escorts the dead. And I'm like, okay, I prefer Thanatos, but this is not inaccurate. So At least fine. it's not random. You do your thing. There's some yeah. lines in this film that are really weird we'll get into that and spoil film i said it again there are I some know. lines here that are really weird we'll get into that it's 21 i didn't even catch it so oh, yeah that's 21 how... oh uh yeah running man reference yeah we talk about how uh well we technically haven't gone episode by episode we're but... not gonna do that we're we're, we're not gonna go episode if you're doing that episode, I we're gonna be we'll, here all we'll go plot beat. when we go <laughs> to the spoiler section we'll go plot beat by plot beat we'll though. we'll we'll summarize it really quick um, and we'll go over the Star Wars stuff and some um, of the lore, some of the. But not lore, one thing that she stuff. says in the first episode, and if you can't figure this out, I'm, I'm just gonna say spoiler right here for those of you who couldn't figure this out based on the title and the trailer, and just okay. everything about Greek mythology. But if you don't know who what Blood of Zeus means, you would until I stop waving my yeah. arms if you don't want spoilers. <laughs> yeah. So spoilers. He's waving his arms. So obviously, the Blood of Zeus means that he is the son of Zeus. And they keep calling him a bastard. And then the first thing, one of the first things his mom says is, you're not a bastard. But his parents aren't married, so he is still a bastard. And I'm just like, that still bugs me that they never correct. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Done. Uh, the spoiler's done. Okay, so um, before Sorry, we actually, is is that everything we can mention without going into spoilers? I feel like. Uh, we uh, mentioned. Wait, uh, let, let, let's demons. try to mention some good things about this because oh, okay. we've been ripping on this. Yeah. The art style is really good. The art style is good. It, it's it's very similar to animated DC movies. If it was animated a little bit better, I would say the animation is beautiful, but I, it, the animation is like good. It, and then even, we did just stream yeah. um, Hades, so like we're comparing it to that, which was so good. Oh, yeah. well, so in yeah. So, honestly, that might have hurt this show a little bit i almost said film again <laughs> um yeah so we might be like that's fair, being a little yeah. too hard on honestly it, but, and but here's the thing even though the animation could be choppy there were some action scenes that were kind of fun um yeah this is uh this this is a bloody gory show which yeah. It, yeah. if you're there in are that, parts where people's judge. heads get cut off which there? is what I, I was gonna talk about um i feel like the art kind of contradicts like yeah because like the art is very dc and then it gets like super gory. Yeah. So it kind of confuses my brain. Because DC movies usually yeah. aren't very gory. Yeah. So, like the worst is you see like blood coming out. Like I think the yeah. I think the bloodiest DC movie is um, uh, Flashpoint Paradox, and that's because oh, they're yeah. in an alternate universe where everyone just dies. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And I honestly like if this was to be this like rated R gore as if it was live action. I don't know about yeah. cartoon, but it was very very gory. I think and it's it just softer for him. Yeah, it, it just kind of jarred my brain because the animation style is more DC, like a little more less, not so serious. But the but this show was very serious, and very Why is violent. So serious. <laughs> uh, one thing I just remembered you know? that I kind of forgot, but in like the first episode, they said this is a uh, Netflix anime, and that <laughs> yeah, they call that? it an anime. Yeah. No, they say that at the beginning of every episode. Did they? Yeah. Uh, well, kind it's of an a, anime. A, a Netflix. Something anime. Yeah. I know. Okay. Speaking as people who've all seen anime, I strongly. 
This is yeah. not an well, well, no anime, anime is Japanese. I don't. Know I mean, anime does anime. just mean animation, but. It's not an anime it style. It, it, it doesn't have the style. It's got or the its feel. own identity at this yeah. point. Yeah, and really. it's not a. There's problem. a reason we call it anime. Yeah, like like we call Japanese comics manga for a reason. Yeah, and it's not a yeah. problem. It just feels weird. It's just a little yeah. strange. It's also kind of weird how all the title cards are sometimes. Yeah, um, some. Here's the weird thing. A, a weird thing about the show no, that I'm isn't makes it bad. It. No, no, no. I said let's good. be positive, and we're ripping on it more. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> as someone who likes title cards, I kind of like that it had. Um, uh, or uh, not title cards, opening credits. I kind of like the opening credits in some of the episodes, okay. but it does throw you off, especially since uh, because of Netflix's autoplay feature, the episodes okay. can literally just go into the next one super easily. And then you have opening credits again. Yeah. It's and yet, a little the, weird. But the other problem with the opening credits is they're not always at the same time. So sometimes you could be like partway through an episode and not realize you're partway through an episode until all of a sudden opening credits come up and you're like, wait, what episode am I on now? Did I finish the last one? Yeah. I, it, that it just throws you off a little, but that's not necessarily their. Fault. I personally yeah. had the most fun in this show when the gods were actually fighting. Yeah, with, like, the god stuff. Was the go okay, the, the like, god it, designs it, are good too. Yeah, the, the designs of the I gods the are characters. good. There's a few. Yeah, he he doesn't like the main characters. Design. He thinks the main character is way too pretty. Um, which yeah, I get. It was like way. It too wasn't pretty. even that. It was just he was boring too. Yeah, the way mm. he, he was boring. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he can be pretty boring. And he does something so infuriating that we'll get into in spoilers. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know. We know. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, watching the gods actually do stuff was a lot of fun, in my opinion. It's There's some really creative and cool designs. Like, there's uh, some stuff in the underworld that's pretty cool. The giants are pretty cool. Mm, yeah. Um, the locations look pretty good. The Well, there's, like, two villains. But the one of the villains, the man guy is yeah. actually a pretty good character uh, yeah there there's an episode going into one of the villains backstories and actually like by the end of it we were like man i want to root for this guy yeah. like honestly yeah. story-wise and character-wise for the most part this show is really good at writing stories and characters yeah it's um, just it's held back by some choppy animation so, and some some drags yeah here here's the there. weird yeah. thing is they were trying to use the greek mythology thing to pull people in but then once you start watching it, if you know stuff about Greek mythology, it starts kind of pushing you out. It takes you out of it. Yeah. So a like bit. it really helps it and it, it helps it get the word out, but it hinders it once you start watching it. If it was its own story, I think we could have been like, oh, this is pretty interesting. Again, well, according like, to it, it is one of those yeah, tales of those which things. was lost. Yeah, it's never been wrong. That means it doesn't have to be factually accurate. Uh, yeah, mythology. of course. This means we can do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> Which is fine. It is fine. You, you can do what you no. want. Yeah, like Hercules just, is But fine. when you have callbacks to other myths, like if you're going to pretend to be a real myth, maybe get some of those right. Yeah, I'm also, there's a huge question. Yeah, this technically isn't a spoiler because this guy's not in the movie. So I'm going to say this. They confirm that Heracles has already existed yeah. in this universe. Where the hell is he? Shit <laughs> goes down in yeah, this never, movie. Heracles Where is Hercules? Yeah, he would be a huge help. He's just, he's on, he, um, he's one thing I do Netflix, like I that uh, this isn't talking about the gods and how they interact. Be a spoiler. Um, so long as you don't say exactly yeah, what they say. No, I, I won't say what they do. But there is some like actual kind of political power that Whoa. happens a little bit. It's not. Super oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, and that's actually pretty interesting. When they first showed, it, I was like, oh, okay, I want to see where this goes, and then it kind of just. It, because the series is so short, and I think they were expecting yeah. it to be maybe a one season series, it it doesn't have time to like grow like there Game of Thrones a, there did. Was a, there was there's so many storylines. If this that was the problem. if they had more time to work on that, it could have come out really interesting. But it kind of just comes and goes. You know. Yeah. Also, yeah, actually, that reminds me. Um, uh, I'm not gonna give away how this is brought up, but like, there's a part where actually, like, it comes up like how uh, we all know Zeus is not a good fall. No. Typically. Um, but actually, the show actually brings up something which I never thought of. Think about Zeus's relationship with his father. Yeah. His father is Kronos. And he actually talks about it in kind of a nice scene where he talks about, I didn't know my father growing up, I didn't have my father growing up, and when I met him, he wanted me dead, and I had to kill him. And, you know, so... That was it. Like that was you all the father I him. got to have, and yeah. you know, and you know, it's like, yeah, I didn't actually freaking twenty two years of reading Greek myths. I never thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> so that's like, that's a, um, like, like that's a, a point really good the show. point that this show yeah. brought up. Yeah. I wish that had been explored a little more. Stuff like that. Like yeah, there's also, um, 
I won't ruin it here, but there's like a relationship that the villain has with another yeah. character that I feel like could have been explored a little yeah. more too. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe like they'll that. do something about that in season two. If yeah. there is one. Well, like like if I said, for one. the most part, the character writing and the story writing is really good. The only character that's kind of eh is unfortunately the main one. Yeah, which happens a lot in it happens a lot. Stories. But thankfully, even okay. though he's the main character, he's not the main focus, so it doesn't make yeah. you go. Oh, I want to be done with this character. I, You're just kind of like I, I feel like, like I pretty much the other ones. Yeah, there's a lot of other characters. Pretty much all the human characters are pretty underdeveloped. And now that I think about it, a lot of the gods weren't super developed. I just know what their personalities would be like because yeah. I've read all these myths. Yeah. So that's that's an advantage to st shows like this. It's like if you've yeah. read myths, you know what their personality. And I was actually really surprised at the character development they gave Zeus. Yeah, of all like, characters they gave Zeus character they development. They gave Zeus development actually, which is like which was interesting. They, no other mythology thing I've ever seen gives Zeus development. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, the human characters were unfortunately pretty darn underdeveloped. Uh, which in a series, I don't think there's a lot of excuse for. I think the human characters who got the most development were the villain and Alexia. Yeah, Alexia actually, she and Alexia—that's not even saying much. Yeah, it's very yeah. subtle development. I'm, I'm just saying, I think she has more development than Heron does. Really, I think that he. Then again, you know what? I'm, I'm being too hard. No, actually, I no, know. I'm wrong. I honestly forgot I just, she was I guess, a character in the show. I guess I just I was. Think, I guess I was just a little more interested in her. Maybe that's why I'm saying. I think this. that's like all we can say without spoilers. So yeah, I'm gonna say right, it now. Spoiler time. No, 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 no. Hold oh, on. Hold oh, on. Oh, before oh, spoiler mind. time, I just... Before we get into spoilers, um, let, let's give, like, verdicts, like... Uh, what, what, how would you rate this film 1 to 10? Uh, I'd give it... Film! Uh, God damn <laughs> As a film, I'd give it a 0 out of 10, because it's not a film. Um, as a TV show, I'd give it... Okay, I don't want to be too hard on it. I think... Like a 5... Five. If we're not doing decimals, then a six. Yeah, five means average, so... Yeah, yeah I guess I would give it a five. I, I can't give it a six. It's too... It's not quite that good. Again, it's average. I like... Like, you know, I'd give it, like, a C. Mm -hmm. If it was on a page. Because it's just good. It's entertaining, but it's really, like... I don't know if I could have finished it if we weren't binging it all in one Honestly, uh, I yeah. Guess yeah. So I thought it had some interesting ideas, and some, the, some of the attention to detail with the mythology was good, and then uh, some of it was just liberties... Um, so I'm not really sure exactly what this show is for, but I think uh, a normie would like it, and a mythology uh, person wouldn't mind it. You didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. So like I, I said, I, we got three different perspectives here. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's I think it's decent. It's decent, but also don't let your kids watch it. Um, yeah, do not let not your kids kid watch it unless, you know, they're 13. You, unless your kids are very mature yeah. and you've had the talks with them. Watch it with your kids if you're going to do Honestly, that. Honestly, this yeah. is a 13 and up show. Yeah. Because it's not like it's super really bad. It, I, I would say this is a PG 13 show. Yeah, minimum PG 13. But some of the gore is like our gore. Yeah, but it's animated. Exactly. So it's like, yeah. But yeah. hey, yeah. nobody said any naughty words. Yeah. <laughs> Except bastard. Um, yeah. So yeah, I. But they I, use that in the literal sense, not yeah. even the insulting. Sense. I would give I it a him. kind of liked it. That's how okay. I'm gonna say. Um, I would. <laughs> That's how yeah. I say it. So uh, what would you give it? I would give it a six because it's it's average, but it's not like bad average. It's pretty decent, pretty good at times. It's not like there are parts where I was like, okay, can we be done with this? And there are other parts like, okay, let's see where this is going. So there was definitely something there. There were people yeah. who were definitely trying to do something. They just couldn't get it all the way to where they wanted it. Um, and like I said, the biggest problem is that they tried to connect it to the, uh, the Greek stuff, which really holds it back story-wise at the same time while pushing it forward. So it puts it in this weird state. Um, and when I, give a, when I give something a six, that, means, that doesn't mean it's bad. Remember, guys, six four, is above average. Yeah, four, five, and six should be average. Anything below four is bad. Anything above six is really, really good. I, so, I would say, yeah, five is average, six is above average, seven is good, eight is great, nine is wow, amazing. and ten is just brilliant. Perfect, ten, ten is practically per as perfect as you can yeah, get. Ten yeah, is like, there's really, so but... few flaws that they don't matter. Ten and, is yeah. like, yeah, it's like a movie that and, you would compare other movies yeah. to in that yeah. genre. Unfortunately, it's not mm -hmm. a seven, eight, nine, or ten. Uh, it could have gotten to a seven if there were just a little tweaks here or there to yeah, fix some stuff, but I think they were, I think this it almost feels like a test 
show. Like they were kind of testing, like what can the studio you know, do? Now that you mention that, uh, how honestly. well can they get yeah. here? Um, it like, doesn't. Do people like mythology enough. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, yeah, probably um, testing the waters for and more mythology. There are parts stuff. where I definitely yeah. had fun with it, uh, and like I said, the story writing, the character writing, really good. The art style is pretty uh, interesting. And every now and then, the animation moves smooth enough for you to watch it. It's ne- That's true. It's yeah. never so bad where you're like, oh, this is hurting my eyes. But there are points where you're like, hmm, that was a little janky. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very noticeable is the problem. But yeah, it's not going to hurt you. Yeah, these two kind of summed up my thoughts pretty well on it. Like, um, I'm, I'm pretty much between a five and a six. Here's what's going to pull me down to a five. That mm. dumb thing Heron does... Which hurts the entire story. <laughs> yeah, it would be one thing if it was just a dumb thing to do, but it bites everyone in the ass later. Yeah. And so I'm that. going to I'm gonna be a little harsher because of that. I I, I don't like it when especially when the main character <laughs> does something that dumb very frustrating yeah. which actually another character could have fixed later i don't know why they didn't but yeah. like we'll get into that in spoilers um so i'm going down to a five i'm gonna call this an average show um so yeah we got five six five pretty similar views overall average show we did enjoy parts of it yeah like, definitely enjoyed it. i i i, I think i enjoyed five, it more than <laughs> I, yeah five, five, I, five. I think i liked it more than i disliked it um um, if you I would say, there was no now. part of the show that made me want to get up and scream. Yeah. Um, even, That's good. That's, even that yeah. dumb thing Heron did, it, like you know, there there are things that have made me want to get up and scream, like the last season of Game of Thrones. Um, like, yes. Let's not talk about Accurate. that right let's now. Let's not open that freaking Pandora's box. No. Okay. Ironically, I thought that would be in this, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, actually, and we'll get into that too. Okay, uh, yeah. so um, but, y- you've you've got all our verdicts, you've got all our thoughts on the show. Let me just show. Uh, say one more thing. One more thing. If you want to watch it, watch it. Uh, if you don't, you don't have to. It's not something where it's like, oh my god, it's so amazing, you have to watch it. But it's yeah. also not one of those things where it's like, it's so horrible skip it yeah. just watch it and then you make your own opinion it really is each person is going to have their own opinion on it but it is going to feel very average as many problems as i had with the show i actually enjoyed watching it with you guys because we we had fun because we yeah. were like making commentary we were making jokes we were mm-hmm. wisecracking yeah and it's like not we like... were pointing out flaws and that yeah. was fun honestly watch it with a friend, so i would though. say watch it with friends if yeah. you're old enough and you want to play a drinking game just like, just try to ma- make your own fun in addition to the fun that's in this, and I and I think you'll have a good. Time. Yeah, it's sure. it's never gonna be Hercules level uh, uh, from Disney. Oh, definitely. But it's also not. Um, but it's what also... was that one? War of the Titans. Clash of the Clash... Titans. It's followed not Cla- by Wrath of the. T- yeah, it's not Clash or Wrath <laughs> of the Titans, which is like. Yeah. Uh... It's not as infuriating yeah. as. That is the Percy like, Jackson yeah. movies have it's, been. That is times. turn yeah. your brain off and irritating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it wasn't like boring like the live action Mulan was in comparison. Oh to yeah, that that this that's the dumpster fire for dumpster fire. Yeah, this was entertaining. I probably I have the bored. most different opinion about that movie from these two. I yeah. kind of liked it, but yeah. that's a whole. Oh other. really? We, I didn't think we it was good. We should probably discuss that at some point. Yeah, we could. Just, that's a whole other conversation. Okay, that yeah, okay, that's another that's another conversation. All right. Well, if if you've seen my review, you know what I think of the film. All right, so. Um, that's, I think that's pretty much everything we can say without spoilers. You, you got verdicts from us, uh, so decide whether you want to check it out or not, and, um, we will go into spoilers now. For those of you who are leaving, thank you for checking out the video. See you next time. Okay. Hey everyone, Zaggard here. So, the review got a little long with both spoiler-free and spoiler-full versions, about an hour and 30 minutes long, so we decided to split them into two parts, so while you're waiting for part two to come out, here are some other videos you can watch in the meantime. Thanks for stopping by.